About ten bucks a piece. Would you do 10 on that one, sir? Huh? Would you do 10 on that one? Uh, I have to put the down here, man. How much is Donna? No, do 10 on it. Yeah. Alright, appreciate you. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You guys have a liquidation store? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah? Do you guys get Amazon return trucks? Costco, nice. That's cool. You guys have a good day. Good, how are you doing? How much is this one? Uh, you know what? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah. It's got some, some vintage value to it. You know what yeah, I'm I like the baseball glove. I'll buy it for 20 bucks. Cool, I appreciate it. You have any other baseball ones? Right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, what do you got on that one? 15 on that. Okay. It's got a nick on it. You get these when restaurants close down and Actually, stuff? I travel around. Do you? Yeah, and basically what I do is I just go, I try not to get replica signs. Yeah. And get manufacturer signs. Right. So basically, I just travel around nice. and get the best deal I can put it in here. So. Yeah, everything's getting remade now. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I try to avoid it. I don't mind getting a few things, but I try to avoid it for the most part. What do you got on that one? Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. I'm gonna get this one and that one. Are you an extra 40 bucks? Yep, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. There you go, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. How you doing? Are you John? I'm Bill. Bill, do you have the um, the booth down there with all the overflow stuff? What are you asking on those two uh, Verner's signs? The little like cardboard ones that are up on the thing? Fifty bucks. Fifty each. What's that? It's an original piece. Yeah. Would you do 70 for the pair? No. No. I'm, I, I don't like the discount. I really don't. It's too hard to find the stuff. It's not anything good. Right. You know, that's a, those are good pieces. Yeah. And uh, I just got to wait for the right buyer. So. Yeah. You're working me a little? I do 90 for the pair. Plus tax. You got a deal. There you go. Following plant. Yeah, I, I, give me a minute and I'll take of it here in a minute. Brooks, All right. Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers in Michigan? Yeah. Were, a bottling plant, you said? Yeah, they uh, try to remember if they were in Holland, Michigan. I can't remember. I did some work for a music park up there. And. Uh, 
I changed, did a big promotion with with them on a Verner's can. And the old man I worked with knew that I dealt in advertising and he said, I got something you may, may want. And he brought them into me. Oh, that's cool. How long have you had them? You know, God, I've, I've, I can say I've had them 10 years. Maybe longer than that. Thank you. Got it? They, uh... Very cool. Well, thanks for digging them out for me. That's all right. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Come back. How are you doing today? Good. What are the bats you have for sale? I just brought them in. Oh, did you? Don't know the first thing about them. Can I take a look at them? From somebody, huh? Can I take a look at them? Oh, you can look at them, sure. I just started looking at them and said, shoot, man, these are um, important bats. This one is a uh, Jackie Robinson model. Doesn't mean, I guess, that he used it. It just says Jackie Robinson model. This guy here, I was just looking him up. This one here, you can barely see, but it says Mickey Mantle on it. Oh, okay, yeah. This one's Cincinnati Cools Red. Kool-Aid, that's neat. Yeah. What are you asking on the uh, Jackie Robinson and this one right here? You ask me. About ten bucks a piece. Ooh, I'm looking at those for twenty dollars. Thirty for the pair. Thirty for the pair. Okay. All right. Appreciate you working with me. That's okay. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Good luck You're to you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Hey, guys. So yesterday I went to the flea market. I was only there for about an hour and a half, but I found some really good stuff. My camera died on me at some point uh, during my first few buys. The first thing I picked up was this American Girl doll Willy Wishers outfit. I've heard these Willy Wishers do pretty good. The packaging on it was pretty beat up, so I offered her five bucks and she took it. I saw one uh, brand new sealed sell for like 30 bucks, but that was really good packaging. Mine, I'll probably get 20, 25 bucks for. Next thing I bought, I know that my camera was definitely dead because I made the deal and then I looked down and saw that I wasn't even recording when I bought the stuff. I got seven of these South Park Tiny TV Classics. So it's an actual little TV with a remote. They were five bucks each, so I just went ahead and bought all seven. And these things are selling around like $35 plus shipping. And from that same seller, I got this MC Swag LOL Surprise Baby Doll. I paid 10 bucks for this, and it is selling for around 40 Got some beer signs from one guy. I paid 60 bucks for all three. I want to say this one was 20 um, there was kind of like a gash on it, so he gave me a discount. I just really like this one. I'm a huge baseball fan, so I think I'm going to keep this one. And I was planning on keeping this one. Here, let me move my little leprechaun gnome guys out of the way, and I'll show you those in a second. I was planning on keeping this one because it has such a cool look to it, the baseball and everything. Um, I paid 15 for this one, and it's actually selling for around 70 so I'll probably sell this one and keep that one. And the last one I got from him was this Coors Light Wii ID uh, metal sign. I've never seen this, thought it was pretty interesting. I paid 25 bucks for it. It's got some scuffs and scratches, but it is definitely rare. I, it's hard to find any kind of soul comps on this thing. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's valuable, but I'll post it for 50 bucks, see what happens. These guys right here were in a booth that was actually closed down. This guy had just this little window you could peer in through his orange netting, and I saw these sitting on a display shelf. So I went down to the booth that the sign said, like, you know, find this guy at this booth, and I asked him about him. He wanted 50 bucks each, and we settled on $90 for the payer plus tax. It came out to be, like, 96 bucks. These are little cardboard stand-up signs that would be given to a store to put like on their counter or something he said that he got them from a bottling plant up in michigan somebody a buddy of his gave them to him and he's had them for years they're actually in really good shape these things are super clean i don't think they ever 
made it to a store if they came from that bottling plant. These are also super rare. Um, again, that doesn't necessarily mean they're valuable. I just thought they were really cool. I did see one on Worth Point that sold like nine years ago for like 120 bucks, but then another one sold for like $48 or something like that. So it's really hard to gauge a price on these. I might try to list them kind of high, like 150, 200 bucks, because I'll be the only one that's got them on eBay and just have to sit on them for a while, but they were just too cool to pass up. Last thing I got are these baseball bats. These are Louisville Slugger model bats. This one right here is a cheaper one, just because it's got the um, logo kind of painted on and it's a 400 model. I don't know a ton about the models, but I don't think this one is very sought after. It is a Jackie Robinson, so that's gonna help it sell. I saw similar ones go for around 30 bucks, but it wasn't the 400 model, so I'm not entirely sure what I'll get for this one. This one, I found the exact same one. This is a Roberto Clemente. Um, that's the 125 model, and the logo is ingrained right there on the barrel. And based on this logo, I think this one was made before this one. Even though uh, Jackie Robinson played before Roberto Clemente, I think this one was made uh, later. This one I saw sold comps around $90 plus shipping. I paid 30 bucks for the pair, so I think I'll do pretty well with those. Since it's super cold outside and there's not really a lot of sales to go to, I've been hitting up the flea market a lot and I'm really happy with the results so far. Before I end this video, I want to remind you guys I am now selling on the Whatnot app. I'm selling a huge variety of stuff, vintage clothing, action figures, video games, all kinds of stuff, and everything starts at a dollar. It's all auctions, and it's live stream, and it's been a lot of fun, honestly. And I think you guys would like it. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link down below in the description. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh,